Alrighty guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Boruto episode 112, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is a recap episode, uh, but, uh, as for the last arc, we had, uh, we had a, well, I guess I'll mention it now, sorry, uh, uh, I will be watching episode 113 with this one, so as soon as you see this one be released, Shortly after, you'll probably see 113 be released as well. I decided to do a double drop for you guys because I decided to watch this recap instead of skipping it. Uh, I decided that I would do an extra episode for you guys, kind of like I did for episode uh, 105, I believe is also a recap. But, but yeah, anyway... The last arc, we had a cool little trip that ended up being something more of a mission rather than a vacation, which we were tricked into believing, but originally we believed that it was a mission first, and it ended up just being a vacation, but it really was a mission, but yeah. <laughs> uh, we followed Guy and Kakashi, as well as, um... Names. Wow, I am doing really bad at names in my reactions tonight. The the one I recorded right before this, I, I did terrible, too. Um, Asuma's daughter. Crap. Mirai, thank you for telling me, audience, even though you didn't. <laughs> um, God damn it. Uh, yeah, so we followed Mirai, Guy, and Kakashi through all of their little antics for several episodes. Ended with a kind of serious note, but it, it all ended up fine and everything, so I really liked it. It was a fun arc, so yeah, let's just get into this recap episode and, and see what it's about, alright? So, we are gonna start the episode in five, four, three. Two, one, now. I really should just, like, cut out half of that intro bit because I screwed up so much, but I'll leave it for you guys. You can enjoy my failures. Naruto! Shikamaru! So much paperwork. I feel like those papers are so big, too, but I guess... Like, even the ones in the background look enormous. Ah. Damn. So it's the... It's kind of the same case of what happened before. Alright. Opening time. Yeah, back in Naruto, there was the, the tuning exams were interrupted, and they ended up just promoting one person, and that was Shikamaru. I would be shocked if it was Boruto. I don't think it's going to be Boruto. Yeah, it's weird, because I don't think it's going to be Boruto. I am skeptical as to whether it'd be Shikadai, because of the fact that Shikamaru got promoted in the last series, and I feel like they might not want to go that same route. Would be kind of interesting if Serata got promoted. And those were, like, you know, a lot of the finalists, right, in the tuning exams before it was interrupted? But yeah, Boruto was cheating during it, so I would be shocked if he got it. He cheated during, like, the whole last half. Alright. Alright, so the recap episode is kind of formatted in deciding who's going to become Chunin, which is kind of important to know who becomes Chunin, right? Like, I'm sure they'll readdress it in another episode, but 
if you were to just not watch this one, I guess you just wouldn't know that someone got promoted, assuming they promote someone here at the end of this. This is kind of cool, though. It's been a while since... Or it feels like it's been a while since the shooting exams, so... Once again... Mitsuki and Sarada saved... Boruto there, so I definitely don't feel like Boruto would be deserving based off this test. Hmm. Why is Boruto even still in there, damn it? I know, it's because Boruto made it farther, but... <laughs> the bubblegum dude. Forgot about that guy. He was always shit talking, wasn't he? I would have to agree, Sumire is actually pretty, pretty good. I don't think Sumire is going to be the one that's promoted, but Su Sumire seems like she has some good leadership qualities and seems pretty strong. She has a bit of a past, too, though. Are they going to realize that he uses his cheat thing here? Yup. Okay, there it is. I was waiting for that. so much text on the screen having like the background talking and the foreground talking <laughs> jeez
<laughs> that was a fantastic transition to Serana just punching that dude hard as shit. Oh man. Yeah. So many snakes. Yeah. I felt bad for Chocho during that fight, I remember. Because she really did try, but... <laughs> Taking someone is hard. Gotta be decisive. Borto cheated again. That was such a cool move. Like the the wide range AoE shadow. No, that that eliminated Shikadai. Also, I can't believe that Dinky is still in there. In the running. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I agree that Mitsuki kind of needs to understand, like, what it means to be human a bit more before he can lead a team of people, I feel like. Yeah, he is. Interesting final lineup.
Yep. Serata. Nice. Ah. Uh, Sasuke showing up. What is he gonna say? Is he gonna, like, dispute this and it's gonna be, like, a change or something? Oh. Recapping this bit. Oh shit. Maybe the next arc. Oh. You can see the picture of his daughter. Yep. <laughs> Very intuitive there, Sasuke. <laughs> hmm. What? Really? That's gonna hinder Serata? So I wonder who they're going to promote. Are they going to go back to Denki or Sumire as one if they don't do Serata? <laughs> I just love when Serata punches stuff. So maybe they will promote her? <laughs> They're messing with me! Damn it! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and he's gone.
Oh. That just shows how much Shikamaru believes in his son and his ability to analyze and lead. And Chicken and I got the phone call out too, right? In the Hidden Stone. So are they going to promote Chicken Eye? <laughs> They're still fucking with me. And then he's gone right before uh, that one dude gets there that I can't remember his name. The reason for knocking Shikadai out, I didn't really agree with. Like, in a way I agree with it, but I definitely think Shikadai outweighs that one problem. Alright. So, Shikadai. He just says no, and then the episode ends. Okay. <laughs> that would be so damn funny. Okay. Interesting episode. They did a good job of making a recap episode interesting because I just sat here trying to figure out who they're going to pick, and then they eliminate one of the people I think they're going to pick, but then they bring them back. They were just messing with me. But, yeah. Cool stuff. Do 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 Probably Probably won't have too much to discuss. I'm probably just gonna discuss a little bit of like between Shikadai and Sarada. But yeah. I actually enjoyed it, honestly. There's definitely been more boring recaps I've watched, I will say that. Mm -hmm. Ah. 
All right. That's the end of episode 112, guys. That was good. I for a recap, I liked it. You know, um, I wasn't I wasn't too bored. I was I was having fun trying to like go along with their thought process and uh, and think about what what happened, like or who they would pick. But it's also like retreading what we've seen from the tuning exams was kind of good because. There was a lot of that that I forgot. I was like... I was thinking to myself during some of those fights, like, how did this person win again? You know? So so kind of bringing it back up a little bit was, was kind of cool. Um, but... But yeah, I guess the main thing I want to talk about, this discussion is going to be really short, but the main thing I want to talk about is... I, I almost think that it should have been Serata. Like... I understand that uh, Serata left the village, was stripped of her Genin status, and stuff like that, but I mean, I do agree that Shikadai is an awesome choice, too. So that that makes it rough. And I didn't really agree with uh, Shikamaru's reasoning for removing him, because Shikadai did lose against Boruto, he did have the oversight to, like, not expect another clone, you know? And and Shikamaru was saying, like, he should have, you know, been prepared for that, you know? But really what it was was... I think Shikadai got lured into a false sense of security because he knew that Boruto could only do this many clones, and then Boruto cheated to spawn another one, you know? And that's what caused him to lose. And it's... I mean, obviously in... Like like Shikamaru said, in the real world, you have to account for that kind of stuff. Because it's not a competition. You know, underhanded tactics is, you know, kind of the essence of being a ninja, right? Like, freaking like, killing someone from the shadows and stuff like that. Uh, and all that. Like, so I understand where Shikamaru is coming from. But I just think that Shikadai got lured into, like, knowing Boruto's capabilities and doing what he needed to, to to win. And he didn't think that Boruto would cheat on him, you know? So, I definitely do think that Shikadai is deserving of being a Chunin. But I also think that Serata should too. And all of the reasons that Serata had were, like, all so good... And the only reason she didn't was because she did a very similar thing that uh, Shikadai did, in my opinion, right? Like, Boruto said he was abandoning the village to go after uh, Mitsuki. And then she said, okay, I'm gonna come along, we're gonna do this. She decided to go and do a leadership kind of thing, where... Uh, Shikadai did the same thing. He was supposed to go there to stop them. He changed his mind and ended up taking up a leadership role and directing them, you know? Granted, I think Shikadai did more in terms of leadership than Serata did uh, throughout that mission, but but I don't know. It, it's hard because I do think both of them are very capable. I obviously, like... I do like the the smart, tactical, like thinking things through essence of Shikamaru and Shikadai, you know? I love how that's, like, kind of like a family tradition. Like, it's something they pass on as their, their brain, you know, their, their smarts and everything. So I think that's cool. I think it's cool that Shikadai got promoted. It feels a little weird having, like, you know, in the, in the last series, Shikamaru got promoted, and then in this series, Shikadai got promoted, you know? Um, I kind of like the mirroring, but at the same time, I don't know. I felt like it would be, like, I guess it was, like, so predictable that I, that I started doubting myself, which is why, like, at the beginning I was like, well, maybe Shikadai, but someone, like, Shikamaru got promoted last time, so maybe we'll go with someone else, you know, but, which is why I, like, started doubting myself and everything, but, but yeah, I don't know. It's... I think it's fine having Shikadai be the Chunin. Um, 
I also feel like it'll keep the dynamic within Team 7 kind of interesting, having, uh, you know, Boruto, Mitsuki, and uh, Sarada together still, which means if the show eventually gets to another tuning exam, you know, maybe they'll all be able to go together, whereas... Uh, if Serata got promoted, Serata wouldn't be able to go with them, and they'd need to, like, find someone else, I think, which, that could be interesting, too, but we, we have these three characters building such teamwork together. Now, I don't know what Eno and Chocho are gonna, uh, Eno, Jean, and Chocho are gonna do, uh, when it comes time for the next tuning exam, right? I can't remember what uh, what they did last time, right? I can't remember what Eno and Choji did. Because they didn't... I guess, didn't they, like, get someone to go with them? Oh, maybe you guys can remind me in the comments. I need to rewatch friggin' Naruto again, but... But yeah, I guess uh, from, like, a future standpoint in the show, I understand wanting to... Like, change it up, make Shikadai be promoted, so that way Sarada, Boruto, and Mitsuki could all take the tuning exams again in the future. But, anyway. Um, yeah. Interesting episode. I like the way it was formatted. Formatted in a way of selecting the tuning and reminded us about a lot of stuff that had happened, you know, several arcs ago at this point and all that. So, I'm hoping they, they kind of had Sasuke come in and bring up you know, the, the fishing pole guy might be showing up again soon, so they kind of left us an ominous hint that maybe one of these arcs coming up, he's gonna show up again, you know, which is exciting. I want, I want more Otutsuki stuff, I want more, uh, Boruto's eye stuff, I want him to start training it so bad, I've been waiting for that for, like, several arcs now, every time an arc finishes, I'm like, oh, I hope the next arc, it, we get into this, and, and, uh, I will say, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's dragging on so much. Um, watching watching Black Clover, we have like so many epic moments in in Black Clover for like another long running anime, uh, and they keep bringing up like they keep doing arc out like within a reasonable amount of episodes they bring up like the the big overarching story in in Black Clover. And it's making me realize that I'm kind of missing that in, in Boruto. And even though I, you know, loved the guy in Kakashi and Mirai arc we just had, I, I really liked the Mitsuki arc. I do, like, really want more of Boruto's eye stuff, even if it's just, like, a little bit. Even if it's just, like, a side arc where his eye activates, someone sees it, and then we get an arc of him, like, training with someone, you know? Like, I want something like that. I want it to, I want it to, like, kick off. I feel like it should soon, though. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed this, even though it was a recap episode. Uh, make sure you guys check out the next episode, which should be uploaded shortly after this one is. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.